Hello everyone, we are the Show on Days and um, we are just here to talk about how we met. Um, myself and my beautiful wife would really discuss some very important things. Um, behind the camera is Sister Chia and this is our channel, so stay tuned. Foremost, you guys, how are you feeling? Are you excited to be here today? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> well, she is probably more excited. Um, I'm excited too. This is a long time coming, so um, I'm very, very happy to be here. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. How we met. Yeah. <laughs> so just tell us about yourself. You want to start? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, my full name is uh, Oluwa Tosin and I'm sure, oh, I, I was added in before, now I'm Shohane. Um, my name is Olumide. Um, I came here in 2016 to Canada and came to study as well. And uh, after my studies, a lot happened and we're here today. Some of those things we'll definitely share in this video. <music> Yes, go first. <laughs> so I, the first time I saw my husband was in church, and um, I I don't know him then. I know like he was one of the invitees. Like there was no conversation, but I think the next Sunday or maybe the next uh, service after that, and uh, that's when we had the conversation. Introduce ourselves. We just. Like normally how you go to like new people, oh hi, where are you from? This and that. I ask him about himself. Oh he told me his name and where he came from. I was like, oh, you don't look like someone from Nigeria <laughs> like you look so posh because he was, was <laughs> dressed and everything. And then that was it then. After then no though we still say like we sit in the church. You just hi, hi, and go your separate way. Yeah, I mean, I can come in at this okay. point, then maybe you then come in later. Again. Oh, okay. So, um, I was invited to the church, like she said, by um, our campus leader at the time, um, and I think that was in 2016. I didn't know there was someone in the church called Tosin until I think March of 2017 where an announcement was made regarding her. So um, that was when I actually knew that, okay, this is Sister Tosa. So <laughs> after that, we, we were, we were, um, we started just, just very platonic. Hi, hi, that's it. Then I think I joined the choir and um, she also was in the choir at the time. So it was the same thing, hi, hi. Um, there wasn't really any much conversation. Then one day, I don't know when this one is, I think it was in 2018, right? Yeah. 2018, we, I was told to drop her at work by one of our campus leaders as well. So, um, yeah, then she, she entered into the car and we're going. And at that time, I was having a lot of issues emotional, financial, a lot of issues. So um, at that time, I wasn't always smiling according to her. <laughs> so she was in the car and she asked, problem with it, why is it that you're always angry? You're always <laughs> upset. Angry. You said it. You're always <laughs> upset. In fact, she went so far as saying that I had bipolar uh -uh. <laughs> issues. So um that really took me off guard because indeed yes i was going through a lot but no one had actually asked me what was wrong so she was the first person to just show that kindness so why are you laughing <laughs> so um yeah then i told her you know that i'm just going through a lot of issues and things like that this was on our way to her workplace so, so she was now like you know everyone goes through issues that we just need to depend on God, you know, just encouraging 
me and the Lord. <laughs> so, <laughs> I that was what you were doing. So, she was just encouraging me. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, wow, okay, thank you, you know. From that point, I just, what I had in my mind for her was just, she's very kind. She's a very caring and kind person. Nothing about marriage at that point. Uh, yeah, from there, like, I think uh, another time, though we'll be seeing, we see each other in church, like I said, and in the choir, this very same ministry. And uh, there was one time, like, uh, we have uh, Riaza in my, in our house, like, then I was living with other sisters. So we have to do the Riaza in the house for, like, the December or the retreat then. So like all of the choir members, they have to come, we have to rehearse. So like we are just sitting down, I think I was sitting in a particular place and oh, he told me like, oh, can I come over and sit with other people? I was kind of, I don't know, somehow I was grown, I don't know why, I, like, I didn't want to answer him. But down deep there, even times like, I didn't even know what I was doing, I just was like, oh, I like, I like this brother. I will even be asking myself like, why did I even like him? Even that days, though it sounds so silly, I was like dressing to church. I was like, "Come, oh, he's gonna notice me, uh -huh. like that. Okay. But, <laughs> but and like, it doesn't even. We don't even look at myself. Don't worry, the Lord was looking at your side. Let's continue. Yeah, I was just. I've not started praying. Then I was putting like effort. Okay, I think that's what I learned one thing there also like. Let God do his work. Yeah, I think it was after that I noticed like, oh, this this brother let me doing that. And she was like, why am I even stressing myself? <laughs> Give myself that day. So I started praying like, okay, like this, like now praying for marriage. I think that was 2019. I think it was 2019 then. I was started praying for marriage. And there was one retreat yeah. we had um, towards so the end of 2019 because i have these feelings for him like we say even before praying like when i was even praying i'll be like oh lord whatever i'm feeling for this brother please take it away this is not right <laughs> every spirit of loss take it away oh i have to my prayer point again i'll be like okay lord if this is him if it's the one for me let your will be done open his eyes because i feel like i'm just stressing over him too much at one point i'll be like i don't even want to pray for like for Will uh, marry do anything again because whenever I'm praying about it, it's like it's God is just putting that deep impression in my heart like God oh, is the one that I will be rejecting that. No, Lord, I no, no, this is not it. I will try to change my prayer points, but it will still be coming back and everything like that. But I was like, okay, if that's it, that is it. Like I will wait, I will wait for the will of God, wait for Him to come. I will even take any move. So in that retreat, I was now telling God like, okay, I want like confirmation like if it's actually the one for me, I want him to come like for me. So after that retreat, I had that confirmation like, I think it was after that retreat that uh, marriage committee now okay. called me like, oh. and when they called me like I already know the person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already know the person. Ah, my dear prayer. <laughs> um, I mean, a lot of a lot. There was even a time. I think I can say this. There was even a time where um, she started a business of cooking. Remember, and then I tried to um, like advertise it on my WhatsApp, and it became it became so a blown up situation. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, that was kind of me just like being excited for her right. right but really there was a lot of prayer from my side i really prayed you know because i again i was very excited to like start life with her even like without even um spiritual leading i just was attracted to her mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, important <laughs> so important guys so, that yeah and i love how you mentioned prayer being um the way to handle that you know 
because it's these passions are not something to take lightly no. and it's okay to have them eh yeah, yeah. it's it's definitely very foundational even in, in your marriage mm. you can't just say that god led you <laughs> to someone <laughs> and we're still going to get to how i propose yeah and okay. that's a story on it and i think we should get there right now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> August that they then gave me the go ahead to propose to her. So this was where yours truly was going to make the move to this beautiful lady here. So August 6th, I messaged her 2020. I messaged her and I said, I need to talk to you after the revival hour. Can you imagine? <laughs> so, <laughs> I need to talk to you after revival hour. How romantic, right? Very <laughs> So, um, yeah, and she said, no problem. I think at that point, I, I think yeah. I can speak for you. Yes. You knew yeah. that I was going to propose. So, um, then immediately after revival hour, we went somewhere. Well, I told her to meet me somewhere, not that we went somewhere, so that people would not see it. So, you know, we went, she met <laughs> me somewhere. And, um, yeah, she, I told her to sit down, like, can she sit down? She said, no, she'll she stand up. <laughs> so she stood up, I was sitting down, and um, I started talking. You know, some people want to know, what did I say? Well, mm -hmm. I started talking, I just said that, you know, that um, um, we've known each other for some time, but I'm being led to marry you. Um, and I really think that God is leading me to you, and I know that we can make it work through the will of God. So, guess what happened after I said that? Tosin, tell us what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, huh. I. Okay, do you want to No, no to, yeah, tell them. Yeah, tell Tosin, I, I you actually like him. about him because going up in deeper life. Toss said the Lord, he said Lord. <laughs> but I like, I was so like confident, like he didn't say, oh, toss said the Lord, I received this word, oh, I had a vision, this and that. It just, oh, marriage, oh, like it's conviction, and that's what I really want to hear. And he also told me, like, oh, his vision and purpose, though I was asking him, I met him on his straight face, even though I already know, like, everything from the start, like, I was aware. But I still met that straight face and still like, okay, let me hear what you're going to say. So I asked ask him like some questions like, okay, what are your visions? What are your purposes? And uh, why do you want to marry me? And uh, am I, do you, apart from like all this, are uh, leading? Do you find me attractive? Like even physically? That the love? question <laughs> caught me off guard. Do I find you attractive? After I proposed, <laughs> in my own mind, I'm like, ah, ah. why else would I, you know, but yeah, I think that question was very important to her. She really did not just want the, like she said, thus is the Lord, I'm following the will of God and things like that. Is there an attraction between me and her? So I said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was even attracted to her before, you know, this whole will of God, because like I said at the beginning, She's such a very caring person. She's, she's good, like a good person at heart. So I was really attracted to her and um, yeah, I answered that and I told her, you know, everything she asked me. As soon as she said that, she, we shared degrees <laughs> and, she, we were, and she went home. Now I, being a man, was so anxious. Praying that it. Lord, this must not be a no. <laughs> I was really praying, even though I had the conviction that it would be a yes, you know. Um, a lot of things just showed it that it would be a yes, but I was still praying. So, around 12 midnight, in the middle of the night, I was still awake. Normally, I sleep early, but I was still awake, and so she sent a message. <clears throat> And that message, now I'm losing my voice. <coughs> and that message was a song, a song lyric. Um, I don't know if I should, should I say yeah, it? Yeah. Can, yeah. I said, yes, Lord, <laughs> yes, to your will and to your way. <laughs> that was the me message she sent. As soon as I saw that message, oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you get some songs? That 
happiness and joy that came in. I mean, I didn't shout in the room, but it was, it just clicked as, and on me, like, it clicked that, oh, I'm getting married. Um, for me, just going by the illustration that you, that you gave, the fact that they're, they're surrounded by a desert, I feel like there is an oasis in that desert for that person. And the only way you can find it, because you will always see mirage of rivers, oasis, stream, but you will be only led by God to find your own oasis, which means you will be led by God to find the right person for you. I think it's very, very important, and she can share the same thing, very, very important that you allow God to lead you. Um, have a relationship with God. I can't stress that enough. And sometimes it can be that you are waiting too long. You're just waiting and waiting. But God is preparing you for the right person for you. There are so many fishes in the sea. But the right one for you is what God wants for you. And trust me, it will be worth the wait. When you find that person, it would be worth the wait. So, um, like you said, uh, it's gonna be so hard and difficult, and times like you just like maybe this won't happen or there's no one there for me. At at first, too, like that kind of uh, thought came to me. I was like, maybe I should even go to Nigeria. I don't think anyone will notice me there. I'm not that it's so funny. out there. Who will even yeah. see me? Like maybe I'm not really even attractive enough, <laughs> but in the midst of it all, like I'm still praying, like also preparing myself at that moment, like everything I can yeah. do, both physically, spiritually, holding on to His word, and just like patiently waiting for Him. Like the big, like, the biggest thing, holding on to His word and just relying on His promises because. It's like it happened like that waiting period can be so hard and maybe like cold, oh, there's no more for you. But trust me, like there's someone out there. Yes. There's someone out there Absolutely. like for you. And God will make tell like I make things beautiful in this time. That's what I just believe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Final <laughs> words. <laughs> My final words is take God at his word. That's my final word. Just take God as well. And my final word is just, just get, like, get it right. That's it. Just trust your God, the God you are serving, know your God, and just get it right. And you never miss it. <laughs> I hope you've learned so much from our story. Um, and just share this video. You know, we could bless anyone and everyone out there. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> Thank you.